32 young children left out in the cold during a carjacking. Only two news has the video as the suspects are taken to jail. And tonight, we're hearing the 911 calls for the first time. Megan O'Rourke is digging deeper into the investigation. She's live in downtown. Right now, just two of the suspects are here at the Montgomery County Jail. That's because the other two are juveniles. So they're actually down the street here at the Montgomery County Juvenile Justice Center. Officials are still trying to figure out what each of their roles were in the carjacking, kidnapping, and chase that followed. After evading police last night, time on the run has run out for these teens. The two 17-year-olds and two 18-year-olds are accused of an overnight crime spree that started when a father ran into the Salem Avenue BP and left his two young kids in his running car. Officers say when the victim came out of the convenience store, the teens were in his car taking off. The father chased after it, but one of the suspects pulled a gun and fired a warning shot. Officers caught up to the fleeing car, but eventually lost sight of it in Trotwood. I mean, we view pursuits as one of the most dangerous things we do, and just for the just for the officers, just for the the drivers and the people involved, uh, to have extremely small children involved in the pursuit is dangerous for them. Um, something that scares us as police officers. Almost an hour after the chase started, investigators were relieved to learn the kids had been found. 911, where's your emergency? Um, hi, I'm calling because my brother, his car just got stolen and my niece and nephew were in the car. And I just want to call and let you guys know that I found my niece and nephew and they're okay. Investigators say it appears the suspects dropped the two-year-old and seven-year-old off on a corner close to the gas station where family members were out searching. It was cold and windy last night. Um, there was no attempt to put them in a public place as like a bus stop or anything like that where people would have found them. There was no attempt to contact uh, family members or anybody else to let them know or even call 911 to let them know the children were there. Uh, so there was, they were, they were taken out of the car, but they were not looked after. Investigators say it appears the suspects were only after the car, which was spotted in an alley this morning. Officers went to check it out and found the four suspects were there, climbing into another stolen car. A second pursuit ensued and ended a few minutes later when the suspects crashed. Investigators say they will likely be charged with receiving stolen property, robbery, failure to comply, and kidnapping. Now, police aren't releasing the suspect's name at this time, at least not until they're formally charged. We'll let you know when that happens. In the meantime, investigators say this is a great reminder why it's so important that you don't leave your car running and unattended. Reporting live downtown, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News, working for you.